What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Bob's Garage. So today I'm trying to figure out what I want to do over my lunch break here. So uh, yesterday I went and got some gas and got my car washed at, at a local car uh, wash. I go to the Delta Sonic. I have the monthly car wash pass. So I did that yesterday. Today it's just beautiful out and I'm trying to decide if I want to uh, fix a problem that I have with my car. So, um, just so you guys know, I don't know if you realize it by now, but these videos are kind of way out of time sync. So when I post them, it's usually weeks, if not months, after I've actually done the work on the car. So, um, but uh, what, uh, what I'm trying to say is, um, when I was on the, uh, doing the highway run for the ICE car meet at Starved Rock, uh, I killed one of my coil packs so I believe it's the cylinder 5 coil pack and uh, so it's been dead now for I want to say what a week and a half or so my coil pack has been dead so it's not that big of a deal the car still runs fine as long as I stay out of boost and stay usually around like under three uh, 3,000 or 3,500 rpms it doesn't misfire and uh, but, you know, it's kind of annoying. The whole point of having a, a nice, fast car is to be able to drive it fast or whatever. So, um, I, I'm trying to decide if I want to replace that coil pack over my lunch break or not. I, I don't think I'm going to have any time in the evenings. Um, today's a Wednesday. I'm not going to have time tonight or tomorrow night to do that. So, uh, I'm just trying to work up the motivation. The other problem is, um, you know, I wanted to drive somewhere shaded to work on my car. It's probably only going to take 20-30 minutes to replace that coil pack. Um, it's just that I can't drive very far, otherwise I'm going to heat the engine up uh, too much and it's going to burn my hands when I try to work on it. So that's kind of where I'm at now. So, Plus I still need to get some food. So I'm going to go, I think I'm just going to go somewhere quick, maybe Subway, grab some lunch, and then... Uh, I don't know, see if I can find a, a quiet spot to pull over and uh, swap out that coil pack. So it's the number five coil pack, which is the, uh, I want to believe it's the center coil pack on the driver's side. So before I replace number four, number five may be just as easy as number four, but I'm not sure. So maybe I'll at least take a look at it and see um, what all it's going to take or whatever. So I don't really want to tear apart my car and then not have enough time to get it back together so that's where I'm at today it's uh, let me see what the temperature says here seventy six degrees and sunny alright so I'm done with uh, lunch and I still have a bit of time left so I just wanted to open this up and uh, check this out so pulled over here at the local waterworks so I'm not sure if this is a cool spot to work on my car or not but uh, I did uh, find a spot with some shade so here we are and like I said it was a number five coil pack so this is the number four that I replaced already um, and I guess I got lucky because I left my engine covers off so this is number five, and it looks relatively straightforward. I may have to uh, unscrew my reservoir, but uh, this should be pretty straightforward. So I don't know. I got about 15 minutes or so to uh, mess with this. Uh, looks like I need to top off my G12, my coolant, and. Uh, uh, power steering fluid looks okay so all right let's get to uh, work
All right, so there you have it. Um, the total elapsed time on the camera of the uh, non sped up version said it took me about 14 minutes to do that. So here's what we got. Um, not too bad. I, I did not have my torque wrench with me to torque down the spark plug. Uh, I was a little concerned by uh, when I just removed the previous spark plug, it wasn't coming out very easily. But uh, I did get it out. It looked a little dirty down in there, but I guess that's okay. So here's what I'm working with. These are my tools. This is the bad coil pack. And uh, this is just my box of replacement coil packs. So I bought all of these used. I bought six of them used for 60 bucks. And I was going to install this one and I saw that it was cracked. So I know that won't focus. So I de debated on installing this one or not. I'm just gonna, I just pulled another one out of the box instead. So um, all that I pretty much used for this job were uh, just a ratchet, an extension, swivel head and I want to say this is 10 millimeter for the coil pack bolts and then just the standard uh, socket what is it 5 8 for the spark plug and then I like to use this long extension to get to the spark plug that way I'm not messing around I did have to use my multi-tool and that's just here so I use my multi-tool to pull the spark plug out Normally I have a magnet tool. You just put the magnet down in there and it'll stick to the magnet and you can pull it out. But uh, I did not have that with me. So I'm gonna go for a test drive and then head back to work. So thanks again for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and let me know if you have any questions. This is number five coil pack.